Hello and welcome to Excel Highway. In today's video, I want to share with you a solar panel ROI I created in Google Sheets. This file can be used to understand the financial implications of an investment. I'm taking as an example if you want to install a solar panel, but of course you can take this model and change it to anything you want like a house or a factory or a new line or anything in the world that you want to check a return of investment. So um, let me walk you through the file, see what we got here. So I got the dashboard, which is the final output. I've built a few charts like the revenue versus cost every year. This The number is the year. So this is a 25 year investment analysis and the ROI for every year. I have a cumulative cash flow chart, basically which shows you when you break even, which in this case is year 13. And eventually at the end of this investment, how much you're gonna make, in this case, $94,000. I also have the revenue breakdown uh, that you can see here. Let me just zoom out a bit. I have the revenue breakdown uh, three different revenue sources here, sale of RECs, tax credit or grants, and annual revenue from energy production, production. So you can see how that breaks down and how that changes during the years. And CAPEX and OPEX, obviously CAPEX is the first year, and then the OPEX. Um, all right, so that's the dashboard itself that you can see. Let's take a look at the sheets that are building this. First, let's talk about the CAPEX sheet. So the CAPEX sheet is very simple. I have the costs here, like installing solar panels, installation, other costs, yada, 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 and the amount over here, and of course the total. So it costs me $100,000 to install these solar panels. That's the CAPEX. Let's go to the OPEX sheet. You have the costs over here like annual maintenance, insurance, etc., the amount, all right, and the annual OPEX adjustment rate. So these things change. You can't have a model for 25 years out and expect the annual maintenance cost to remain the same. So these percentages are the incremental change year over year. So year one, it's the same number, and then you see it gradually increases. Now, of course, you can play with it However you see fit, you can have it static. So if you put 0%, it's going to remain the same. You can change these numbers. You can have it as negative, so the number will reduce. Uh, you could decide that at a certain point, you are reducing it dramatically. Whatever you want to do. Because over here on the right, I have the breakdown per year, which the formula is very simple. I'm taking the amount in B3 with a dollar sign on the column times 1 plus C3, which is the, the change, um, square root, I don't know, I remember how to say it, square root, square, so I think square anyway, um, the number over here, the year, minus 1, minus 1, because I want year 1 to be without a change. So you just um, drag that formula all the way to all the cells. The only, only cell that doesn't have that is the sum, which is the total. Okay, so that's how you build a year-over-year -year change in value. This is actually useful for a lot of different needs that you may have. So that's the OPEX sheet. The input sheet are, is very similar. It's the same thing as the OPEX, just different information. I have the solar panel output, the hours per day, and the electricity price. And basically, if I multiply them, I was going to have the daily uh, revenue. And I have the tax credits per month and the sale of rec per month. Uh, I did some investigation about this, and this is something that, that could be uh, gained for the uh, electricity, um, uh, green energy environment in some locations. And also here I have the annual adjustment. And you see, for example, the hours of sunlight, I don't think it's going to change. So I put zero here. And for example, for the grants, I just, for the, for the, um, uh, sake of the demo, I stopped the grant after five years. So let's assume I will get five years of grants for about 10,000, a little bit more. And the, after that, I'm on my own, which makes sense in a lot of different businesses 
you get an incentive to uh, invest in something and then it goes away. So that's the input sheet. And then eventually we have a model sheet, which is supposed to take all the information and basically build our yearly um, revenue stream and, and uh, cash flow and everything. So what do we have here? We have a column with the year, starts with one, then just add one. The initial investment, if it's year one, take the sum of CAPEX divided by two. Why? Because I have a total here. I could also do VLOOKUP for total CAPEX. I just thought that was easier. So the rest of the years, it's zero. And again, you could do whatever you want. You could have another CAPEX here for year 10, or, or you could do something similar to this model, whatever you want to do. The annual operation expenses, here I'm using index match, and if you're not familiar with index match, it's a very useful formula that will basically search for a row and a column and show you the combination. So I'm looking for the combination between the header, which is the annual operations, that's going to appear in column A, and the year, that's going to appear in row number two in the sheet called OPEX. So looking for column A for that specific um, value which is annual operation expenses and looking for o2 for that specific year so that's when i that's why when i drag the formula here it's always going to show me the value for that year for that expense solar panel hours of sunlight electricity paste same trick just using a different sheet called inputs and i like to use index match because i build it once and then i can just drag it and it will search for the right uh, value Okay, it's going to show me the solar panel output, the uh, hours, and the, and the price. Energy production, it's the multiple of solar output per day times the hours per day and times 365. That's the uh, energy production. All right. The revenue is the energy times the dollar per K uh, watt, I think it's called. And I have the tax, which is... Again, the inputs and the sales inputs. Total revenue is all three. So annual revenue, tax of grants and sales. Total cost, that's the OPEX and COPEX. ROI is the delta between total cost and total revenue divided by the cost. Could have taken also the cash flow that I have next year. But this is the ROI for a specific year. So specific year. The return of investment is negative because I have the OPEX, which is huge. But you can see that later on, sorry, I'm starting to have a positive ROI. This is because of the grants, and then it goes down to something more um, realistic. Cash flow, that is the delta. That's the net. So that's the cash flow per year. And then I have a cumulative cash flow, which is for the first year, it's the same value, but then it just takes this year plus whatever was last year, and this is cumulative, so it's going to take basically all the years below that. Cumulative cost, that's the same, taking the cost, same trick. And cumulative ROI, it's the cash flow cumulative divided by the cost cumulative. So that gives me the overall um, ROI. Okay, that's why you see 10%. So Eventually here, I can see that at the end of the period, which is 25 years, overall, I invested 930,000 and my net um, revenue is, or not net revenue because it's pre-taxes and all that, but 94,000. So that's about 10%, a little bit less, but this is rounded. So these are all the numbers. This is the model. So if you change anything, if you go over here to inputs, and let's say now it's seven, hours per day, I will probably make less money. And this is a negative ROI all the way through. So even after 25 years, I don't make any money. And let's take it to nine hours, for example. Now it has a 34%, sorry, 21% ROI. And I'm uh, basically positive after nine years. Okay, last thing is the dashboard. Uh, it's very simple to build. Um, you just need to highlight the entire table. Click on insert chart. I like to then delete everything. Where is it? There's this 
remove all series and then start adding things, whatever I want, like the uh, topics and opics, for example. So that gives me that. Um, I could also add the ROI with the cumulative cash flow. And then what I want to do in the customize, I want to change it from, I'm sorry, from setup. I want to take a combo chart because I want to have two different um, uh, layouts. So I go to series, I select ROI. I want the ROI to be a line. And then I go to the axis and it should be the right axis. So then you see the ROI is actually percentages. And then let me change to cumulative, should have taken it as a column and that's left. And then you see it's a more understandable, sorry, let me zoom out a bit. It's a more understandable chart. And of course you can do some changes like, I like to put the legend on the bottom. I could say this is a cash flow versus ROI as a chart. And when you're done, I just copy it, add it to the dashboard sheet. Nope, didn't work. Click it once, copy and paste. And then what's nice is, because you can't control X, control V for some reason. Uh, what you can do, you can always go here, over here and then just edit the chart very quickly and just change things, okay? And when you're done, delete the chart. So that's what I did. I created four different charts and you can see over here and that's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, the file is available on my Patreon page and I appreciate your support. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, always reading those and hopefully see you next time. Take care.